What's up, card family? I hope everybody is doing awesome. Making this on a Thursday night, and I got some some mail pickups and stuff to show you. Some uh, care package type stuff, a cool vintage autograph, and uh, just some neat stuff. So the first thing I want to show off is um, I recently ordered some supplies from Mr. Eloy the Goat. So. I'm th thank you for sending me another card. I had been giving these out to homeless people, and I was about to run out. So thank you, Eloy, for for the card, the business card. He um, sent me some supplies that I ordered, but he also sent an extra. And he wrote this. If you already have this, send it back so I can make some money, LOL. So uh, the card that he sent me is pretty awesome, and I uh, really appreciate it, Eloy. I did not have it. And it will add to my Kirby count. This beautiful immaculate with a bat relic. This is from 2017, numbered 70 out of 99. So appreciate that, goat. We'll set it there. And uh, also picked up some stuff from Jetman80. He did a fire sale on Facebook. And, of course, he sent a bunch of extras. Whoop. A bunch of extras. So I'll show you what I bought. Um, got some stuff for the Vikings binder. Some Delvin Cooks. That I did not have yet. Blake didn't have it in his binder. We got a CJ Ham. We got a Karoloff. We got a Kellen Mund. Another Kellen. Not sure if all those are purchases or if he threw some in. And I picked these two up. Not a basketball guy, but I had figured uh, these were a pretty good deal, so I figured I better pick them up. And I don't, I'll probably, I don't know if I'll keep them or sell them. I'll probably keep them. Probably end up keeping them at least for a little while. So that was cool. And then the extras that he sent. So we got this Rod Carew, Larry Fitzgerald. He told me he was going to send. The photo variation. This card, super awesome. The Adam Thielen Astral. This is really sick. Distinguished Defenders out of 2019 Majestic. And that card is numbered 8 of 49. Of course, it's player worn, but. And then this card is kind of interesting because he, he sent me a picture of this card asking if I had it. I said yes, I did have it, and not aware, not very familiar with this set. This is 2004 Fleer Greats. Um, I knew I had it. I knew I had the base card. I didn't realize this is a parallel. So the the regular ones are like brown. This is like a blue border. And so I told him, yes, I have it. He put it up on his fire sale. I saw. I was on vacation, and I saw when I got back that uh, Mark. Williams had picked it up and I double checked and realized that it, it's a parallel and that I didn't have it. So I asked Mark, um, would he be willing to give it up? And, uh, he said, yeah, he didn't really need it. He just picked it up for the binder for his player binder. And, uh, so yeah, so this is really cool. So here's the thing though. If anybody knows anything about this set, let me know. I couldn't figure it out on trading card database or on baseball card Pedia. All the blue ones on COMC are numbered to 500, and this is non-numbered. So I'm not sure if this is, um, this one escaped, escaped the factory without being numbered, or if they issued retail parallels or something that weren't numbered, or if anybody has a clue, uh, let me know. But yeah, definitely hits the counter. <laughs> Trader. So that's super cool. And then I got a PWE from my good friend Scott, Big D for Life. He sent a little thing here. Happy belated birthday, buddy. My birthday was on September 26th, and he uh, sent me these awesome Chris Carters. Not sure where he finds this stuff. I don't know if he finds it at his LCS or card shows or what, but some cool stuff. Very shiny. Sick Chris Carter there. 
that adds to the count. Another one here. Beautiful, beautiful cards. Look at this beauty here. This is a very nice looking card. Love that gold shine. Tops gold label. Culpepper and Moss. Very sick. So appreciate that, Scott. And then I picked up a few cards on eBay recently. I did grab this CC. Just saw it uh, for cheap and liked it. Really dig it. Dig the acetate cards. This is not serial numbered, but it is only a print run of 20,000, which, you know, 1996, that was probably pretty good. So there's that. I picked up a couple twins autographs. First one, I couldn't believe I didn't have an autograph of this guy yet, so I had to pick one up. Christian Guzman was an all-star with the Twins. I, I want to say he was an all-star with the Nationals as well. Um, guy led the league in triples several years. Um, all around, solid player. So, Christian Guzman. And then the big pickup was this one here. Um, I love this card. It's not the greatest auto and pla autograph placement, but it is pretty awesome. So Vic Power played uh, two or three seasons for the Twins. I believe he played two seasons and some change. Uh, won a couple gold gloves, I think, with the Twins. And uh, he's just a really great player. One of the best defensive first basemen out there. And I uh, was really glad to pick up his auto. It was one of the probably top four or five left that I needed to get. Vic Power. This one popped up on eBay. I jumped on it. 63 Fleer. Really cool card. It is uh, JSA certed. So there's that. So that was my mail day. Um, really appreciate uh, all the great friends I have here on YouTube. Scott, Sam, Eloy, uh, three of the best guys there. And uh, if you're watching this and you're still watching it, you're one of the best guys too. So I really appreciate everybody and have a great day.